What's up, everybody? This is a new countdown. Top five countdown show. Top five. It's the top five WWE superstars in the next five years. In my opinion, these guys will be huge stars in the next five years in WWE. They will be there. Some of them are there already on this countdown. But they're going to be huge superstars in the next five years. Number five. Number five, he's already there. He's under contract. He's in NXT. Number five, Adam Cole, baby. Adam Cole. Number five. The guy's great on the microphone. He's, and he's a pretty damn good wrestler. Number four. He's in New Japan Pro Wrestling. He also works a little bit with Ring of Honor. Number four. I'm not a fan of his at all. <clears throat> I don't think he's the best wrestler in the world, and I'm not a fan of his. But number four, I think he'll be in the WWE in the next five years, and I think he'll be a big superstar. So number four is Kenny Omega. Kenny Omega, number four. By the way, this countdown, if you didn't hear, this countdown is the top five WWE superstars in the next five years. Number three, he's already there. So three to one, three to one, they're already under contract with WWE. Number three is the first ever United Kingdom champion. Number three is Tyler Bate. The guy's great. I think he's 20 years old. He was 19. I think he's 20 now. But what I've seen of Tyler Bate, I wasn't exposed to him. I didn't know about the guy until WWE's UK, UK Championship Tournament. And Tyler Bate is great. The guy is great. Doesn't matter if he's undersized. Doesn't matter. The guy could work against super heavyweights, cruiserweights, anybody. Tyler Bate is greatness. So number three is Tyler Bate. Number two, the current reigning United Kingdom champion. Number two is Pete Dunne, the bruiserweight. Pete Dunne is great. The guy's been a great UK champion. I don't know if he debuted with Monday Night Raw. I don't know. But they need to defend the UK title more. Put Pete Dunne on NXT. Exclusively have the UK title a part of NXT. Have him defend it a lot more at TakeOvers. In NXT TV. Because you got Pete Dunne under contract. He's your UK champion. I believe WWE lets him work. UK Indies. With a lot of companies they got. <coughs> a lot of companies WWE has a relationship with in the UK. So uh, Pete Dunn gets to work a lot of indies. But still, WWE, you're paying the guy. Put him on NXT more. And have him defend the UK title more. Have him defend it on Raw, SmackDown, NXT. I just want to see more of Pete Dunne because that guy's fun to watch. He's really entertaining and he's a great wrestler. Number one. The number one. You could call him number one draft pick. This guy in the next five years, I think he's going to be the number one biggest superstar out of everybody on this countdown. Number one is Aleister Black. Alistair Black, I think he's going to be a top WWE superstar, main eventing WrestleManias, SummerSlams. He could even win a Royal Rumble. I think Alistair Black is a future WWE champion a couple times over. The guy's really good. The guy's a great presence about him. The guy's really over. And NXT's really super over. But hell, 
Nakamura was super over. And when he came to the main roster, I thought he would have been WWE champion by now. But no, he has not been. Sadly, he should have been. Should have defeated Jinder a long time ago. Nakamura should have defeated Jinder at SummerSlam. But it didn't happen. <clears throat> Anyways, back to Aleister Black. He's number one. I think he's going to be the biggest WWE superstar within the next five years. Hope you enjoyed this top five countdown. Have a great weekend. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you have your own top five that you're, you think are going to be the top five biggest stars in WWE in the next five years, tell me your top five in the comments. Or tell me it on Twitter. Tell me your top five on Twitter. Tweet me at WWE NXT Guy. Bye for now.